Hey folks, Rabbit here. 1.16 is coming soon, and I'm here to do a tutorial on how to start a new world in 1.16 and get yourself up to netherite like right quick, fast, in a hurry. Yep, and this is survival. This is in survival. This isn't for my my creative players. This is f isn't for people who go back and forth between survival and creative. Nope, nope. We're talking survival hardcore players. They like the challenge. So you're done with your 1.15 world. You are you are ready to jump into 1.16. All right. So you start up your world. You make it hard because you're not a punk. You're not a punk. You're in survival. Not hardcore. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Not creative. Survival on difficulty hard. All right, you create your new world. You wait for it to open. You spawn in your new world and you quickly realize that you have landed on an island. Oh, good lord, no. Oh, good lord, no. No, we're not doing naked and afraid. This isn't Bear Gillis Minecraft. We're not going to be drinking our own piss. No. No, no, no. You start a new world. Ah, here is a Minecraft world one can live in. Yes, this is the one. So, you do the standard stuff. You go punch some trees. Punch those trees. You need your wood, your tools, you know, your basic stuff. We'll come back when we're done with that. Alternative begin beginning. Just, just offering an alternative beginning, which is start a world up in creative. Zoom up into the sky. Look to see if there's a nearby village. Then recreate the world in survival because you're playing in survival. Remember? Remember. Okay. Then you hightail it over to where you found that village and you are going to take some things from that village. Say hi to your new neighbors and say thanks. Thanks for all these um, fences. You're going to take the fences. Yes, you are. You're going to take the torches. Yes, you are. You're not going to fall in any ravines. That would be a bummer. You're going to take the beds. You're going to take any food sources. Let's say wheat that they have hanging around. Any chests. Yeah, you want that stuff. Um, what else? What else can you get? Beds. Take the beds. You want the beds. Uh, any job sites? Sure, why not? They're not that important to us at this point, but you could take them. Uh, for instance, in this village, we have some wheat. We have some wheat bales. Um, there's a farm growing. You can take those seeds. My suggestion, though, don't necessarily start in a village. Like, don't go, you know what, I'll just move in here. Because then you have to worry about the mobs spawning and keeping the villagers alive. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you just let those villagers die. I don't know. My preference, though, is to just take the stuff and book it. So you've gathered your tools. You've got your start. What have you done? No, 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 no. You just, you need a dirt hut. That's all you need. Yes, this is more like it. Just something simple. Get yourself going. Dirt hut, chess, uh, uh furnaces, a uh, crafting table, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just trying to hit the ground running. Gather some seeds and make sure you plant up some wheat. Here's what you want to get yourself to. A wheat field, some sheep contained, and a high saturation food source like beef or pork, but then you'd have to plant uh, uh, carrots to breed up your pigs. So I think cows, cows are easier. You can feed the sheep, you can feed the cows, and uh, yeah, sheep is for wool and cows are for your food source. And you're going to want a pile of wool and you're going to want a pile of food. What else are you doing while you're, you're growing your wheat and you're clipping your wool and you're breeding cows and cooking up beef? You're cutting down wood because you're going to need a pile of wood too. Okay, your agenda so far has been get yourself shelter. Get yourself a source of wheat. Wheat, I said it. Get yourself some seeds. Get a farm going. Then you want to start breeding your animals, gathering the wood, gathering the wool. Next on your agenda, very close, maybe even at the same time as all that other stuff, is you want to... Um, go down to level 12. Yep. 
Level 12. We are looking for some very particular ores, so you need to add mining to your agenda. Okay, here's my suggestion. Don't bother with cave mining. Don't bother with ravine mi mining. Well, you can do some ravine mining, but what you want to do is you want to get down to level 12 and you want to do strip mining. Yes, it's the most efficient way to find diamonds. And while you're down there, you're going to be picking up the gold. You're going to be picking up, um, you're going to be picking up the diamonds. Yes, indeed. Ooh, uh, lovely diamonds. At least enough for a pickaxe or whatever uh, you want your first item in netherite to be. Absolutely get the gold because you want to be wearing at least one pair of gold armor when you go to the nether so you're not bothered by the, um, uh, the new piglins attacking you. I forget what their names are at the moment, but yeah, you know, the new piglins or the piglins, whatever they're called. And what else? What else do you want? What, did I say it? Diamonds, gold, iron. Yes. Anything else? Leave for the time being. Leave for the time being. Come back later. We're trying to get to the nether. We're trying to get to nether. Yes, I went into creative and kitted myself out. So what? I just want to show you. Yes, one item of gold. You'll want your iron tools. You'll want some diamonds. Also a shield. Get yourself a shield. Okie dokie, folks. So, next, next on the agenda is another portal. Now, don't mind the obsidian. You're going to use up your diamond uh, pickaxe, or it, it, it's going to take too much time, and it's going to use up resources that you need for when you're in the nether looking for your ancient debris. So, we're going to do a speedrunner uh, nether portal. Granted, I'm not a speedrunner. Not at all. But this is still going to be faster than trying to mine it. I think it's going to take me uh, five minutes tops and I am in no way good at this. Okay, so you can look up how to do this, but you can also watch this sort of not so great at it version. So what I did is I made uh, the ba basic uh, first three blocks. I'm just looking to see if maybe I can get... S no, I can't get any lava to flow in. All right. So, uh, pick up the water, then I'm just going to dump two buckets of lava in the bottom there to make my bottom two pieces of uh, obsidian. Put some water on top of this. Bam! Yes, okay, we have the bottom and some of the side. Alright, some of the side. Now, what we want to get is uh, this piece right here again. Someone like Dream would already be done. But I'm not a speedrunner. I just like how fast this is, even for us non-speedrunning types. All right, so my lava's not flowing anymore, so I can make this piece into obsidian. And let me see if I can do this fast and pick up the water. Oh, I tried to pick it up fast and it didn't work. Anyway, uh, luckily for me, I didn't get rid of all my lava, so we're still good to go. Great. Uh, get rid of that. That's going to be in the way. And now, basically what you're going to want to do when you build up the sides is you want um, water that's flowing that you can put lava down next to. Um, there's a there's special ways that you can put the bricks up again, or the cobblestone up again. Look at what other people do. I don't have it down completely, but... Um, yeah, let's see what I can do here. Let me see if I can make a little container for the water so it doesn't completely go all over the place, but where I... Let's see. Actually, I can just put it there. Perfect. All right, so I want lava here. Go grab some. You weren't expecting a sort of very slow speed run... <laughs> speed run portal, were you? Yeah! Come on, over here, and bam! Oh yeah, Dream has something to worry about here. I'm, I'm nearly on the world record, aren't I? She says sarcastically. Boom! Alright, so you see what's happening here. You put lava down because the water's flowing next to it. You're getting obsidian. Alright, now I need to get it up on top here. Will it come across the top? Since that water's right there? No, it's just laughing at me. Huh. All right, not what I was expecting, but again, we can fix this. Not an issue. Um, let's try it this way. If the water 
flows to the back. I think that's going to work better for me. So let's put those blocks there to stop the water from flowing. Make sure you've made yourself an infinite source so you uh, have access to water. Or, you know, that's if you're underground. If you are near a lake, no worries. Alright, let's see. Will this work for me now? Uh, this should work fine here. Yup. Now across the top. Bam. And... Bam! Alright, now you just gotta get rid of your water. And you have a functioning nether portal. Woohoo! And what was that? A couple minutes? A couple minutes? I'm not gonna win a speed run, but I've got a quick nether portal. Booyah! Bam! Okie doke, folks. Let's talk about what you need to bring with you before you step into that nether portal. You've been gathering stuff. We're just gonna review. We're gonna review. So, you want to make sure that you have your tools. You want to make sure that you have at least one piece of gold armor on so as to avoid the mobs that you can avoid in the nether. I went with a golden chest plate myself. Uh, make sure you have a shield, make sure you have a bunch of wool, bunch of wood, bunch of cooked high saturation food such as steak. Uh, you want flint and steel in case you need to relight your nether portal. You want the uh, a crafting table, you want uh, the diamond at items that you've made. You might not have two, but you know, like your pickaxe, your chest plate, whatever you're going to first upgrade into netherite. You want two chests so that you can put stuff aside as you're doing the bed mining technique, which I'm going to show you in just a bit. And then uh, torches you don't absolutely need. They're nice, but it's not, it's not absolute. And then, let's see, is there anything else? You definitely need your wood. Oh, I forgot. You need some coal. Hold on. Okie dokie. Uh, yes, I grabbed some coal and now I'm just going to quick show you how to make the last thing you want to bring with you. You don't have to bring it with you, but it's nice to be able to upgrade your materials while you're in the nether. You need a smithing table. And just in case you don't know, here are the materials you need. Two iron ingots and some wooden planks. Smithing table, bring it with you. Why not? You want the immediate gratification of being able to upgrade those items. So um, I'll just try to pause here for a moment. This is my suggestion as you don't need that one piece of iron over there. But my suggestion as to what to bring. In fact, you know what? I won't even wait to make the furnace. I'll make the furnace now so it's very clear what you want to make. Hold on, let's just... Okay, so there you go. Make sure that even if you do make the furnaces before you go down there that you have brought a good amount of cobblestone with you because um, you will absolutely want to make bridges and you will absolutely, when you are mining with the beds, have a block with you that is not flammable and cobblestone does not light on fire so yeah yeah trust me on that one make sure you bring something that doesn't light on fire okie doke folks okie doke so you have entered the portal here you are in the brand new nether huzzah now we want to get down to y level 14 and since uh uh Lava lakes are common, and they are common at, oh, I think it's Y level 24 or 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you want, you're want, you wanting to do is get down to a lower level before you start digging down. Because what's going to happen is the ground's going to fall out beneath you. <laughs> and you're just going to have a lot of lava beneath you. So yeah, try to get down low. I am using the cobblestone. This is another reason to bring... Um, another block. Now this time it doesn't have to be a uh, non-flammable block, but a block that um, is easy to see against the red in the nether, such as cobblestone, sand also works, but you know, why not use something that uh, is multifunctional. So, okay, now we're getting lower. That's a plus. Uh, shall we start trying to dig down here? All right, let's give it a shot, see what happens. All right. Oh, hello. Um, 
pig-like creature that I don't have a lot of experience with yet. Do you attack if I'm near you? It kind of sounds like you do, doesn't it? Alright, so I'm marking where I'm at, and let's keep going down. We're trying to get past the lava lake level, and I'm hoping that this ground doesn't open up around me. I'm going to keep you here longer just so you see the process. Uh, I myself have never dug down to Y level 14. Uh, I just thought the lava... Honestly, I thought the lava lakes went forever, so... Oh! Uh, something I didn't say in the other section. You're gonna want gold with you because the way that you make the ingots is um, the netherite ingots is with gold um, and the ancient debris but uh, there's a lot of gold to be found in the nether in this new update so I wouldn't necessarily worry about bringing it with you. Uh, you're gonna find it. You're gonna find it. There's a lot of gold. Oh whoa and a lot of lava. Okay that appears, let's see, level 31, have we reached a lake? Let's see, perhaps we have, oh, okay, ooh, ow, hot, lovely, wonderful. Now, if you guys know how to get down to level 14, you can skip ahead. Uh, I'm just doing this right now, uh, and I'm doing it in um, survival so that anyone who hasn't done this can sort of see the process and any difficulties one might come with. Okay, so here's what I'm saying. Lava Lake to the right, but to the left, it still looks like there's land that one could dig down into. So I'm going to try going up this way and doing a spiral staircase down and see if I can avoid the lava that way and get down to level 14. I don't remember right now if I've mentioned whose tutorial I'm using. Uh, Genobomb, I think that's how you say his name. I will absolutely link below has come up. Oop, okay. Now that's over there, but I'm gonna... Yep, okay. We didn't have lava there. Let's keep trying. Get down low. I'll, I'll link to his tutorial below. He's the one who came, who came up with... Um, I'm pretty sure he came up with it. He has a great tutorial anyway. Um, on how to mine in the nether with beds and also how to protect yourself. Um, to make it less likely that you blow yourself up while you're doing this. So, check his tutorial out. I will be following it, but he gives, uh, you know, he's the guy who originated it and uh, he's got a good tutorial. So, check it out if you haven't seen it. Alright, uh, this is working. We're on level 14. Let's get to blowing things up. Okie doke, so we're getting set to blow things up. And, uh, yeah, we've made ourselves some beds. We've got the long tunnel. Here's what Jenna Bomb six, uh, suggests. You do these poke holes. You'll go out five, uh, five blocks is as far as you can go. You put the bed down and bam. <laughs> okay, so we hit the lava lake a bit. Uh, that's a bummer but oh my god that's fun okay that's fun oh I love this way I love this way of mining all right I've been mining for a little bit and I found a couple bits of ancient debris and but I have learned Woo -hoo! oh good lord <laughs> oh I forgot to put down my non-flammable block okay I've learned a couple things I, I don't know if the shield is helping me but I feel like it is so I'm keeping it on um Put down a block that doesn't light on fire. Yeah, see what just happened there? Oh, oh, yep, yep, I saw it. I saw it. Ancient debris up there. Uh, I went down one level to level 13. Now, I'm still getting these lava flows here, but um, they're not as big. Uh, it seems to uh, help me a little bit if I go down a level. Yeah, granted, I just jumped up, but whatever. Uh, I went to Y level 13, and I'm having a little bit of an easier time. Um... This, yeah, this is definitely going to take a while, but but it's faster than it would be otherwise. There's the absolute joy of mining by blowing stuff up. Um, this trick of doing po poke calls absolutely works. You just want to make sure that you put down a non-flammable block. Yeah, it's super duper. Oh, okay, avoided. Super duper helps. Super duper helps. You're getting other stuff too. You're getting quartz. 
you're getting, um, what is that stuff called? The Blackstone? Uh, you're getting... <laughs> you're getting, but you're getting gold. Um, yeah, no, this is definitely fun. Woohoo! Okay, I think I have enough now where I'm gonna be able to level up my diamond my diamond gear and I'm gonna end this way. Anyway, I hope this tutorial helps. The idea was let's get you in a survival world, let's and, and with you starting a new world, let's get you to the nether with the supplies, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Uh, and then so you can quickly start implementing the joy that is mining with beds for netherite. And then you can go back to the overworld. Go back to the overworld and really set your world up and you can go back and forth in between. Can I do it? Yeah, I can make an ignit. Oh, it's gonna happen. Um, you can go back and forth now between the nether um, and the survival uh, overworld. And here it comes, guys. Here it comes. I'm so excited. And, oh, I don't have... What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Arr, forgot about the smithing table. That's what I did wrong. <laughs> Here it is. Ooh, ah. Uh.